Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mrs. Maley, an art teacher from Kentucky. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, I'm Mrs. Maley, art teacher at Murray Middle School. Join me as I share fun and creative ways for you to make your own artworks. Welcome to the art room! Today I'm going to show you how to create these little mini landscape pictures that include the northern lights in the sky. They're really fun to do, so let's get started. And these are the things that you'll need. Dark blue construction paper, a smaller piece of lighter construction paper, colored pencils, some chalk pastels, a pair of scissors, a messy mat, and some damp paper towels to help keep things clean. Here's our version of a little mini landscape picture with the northern lights. So the first thing we're going to do to get started, you're going to take your smaller piece of construction paper. You're going to cut a wavy line down the center of your paper using your scissors. Okay, so when you're done, you've got two pieces that you can use. We're only going to start with just one of these. And this is going to help give the wave of the lights that are in the sky. So that's why we uh, cut that piece of paper. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about our landscape picture. And we want to create something called a foreground, middle ground, and background. Now the foreground is the area that's closest to us in the picture. So that's the area that's going to be near the bottom. Middle ground is going to be a little bit farther up, so that's where the trees and the hills are a little bit farther away. And the background is where the sky is going to be. So we're going to start by creating some of our hills. I've just got a black colored pencil here. And I'm just lightly sketching in a few hills. You don't want to go too far up your paper, but uh, just a few little hills here, and I may put a few more kind of to represent the middle ground. Now what you want to do next is darken your hill and do a value. So a value is when you go either dark to light or light to dark. And so what I'm doing is going darkest from the hill and then lighter as I come down. So I'm going to work on doing that on each of the hills. So our next step is to actually start working on adding the northern lights. Now, if you'll notice, the lights look like they're little colored waves in the sky. So the way we're going to create that is by going back to our paper that we cut. And you can lay the paper anywhere you want to in the sky area, the background area, uh, because the northern lights actually move across the sky in waves of light. So they can go really any area. So I'm going to start my first wave a little bit above my hills. And you're going to use your chalk pastels for this. Now when you choose your colors, you want to stick with brighter colors and avoid your neutrals. I'm going to start with my yellow color. And what you're going to do is actually color right on the edge of your paper. And you want to just want to hold it in place as you color on that edge. Now you're going to use your finger and you're going to spread the color up, up into the sky. And add a little bit of a different color as well. I'm going to add a little bit of orange. Okay, now you're going to pull your paper off and you see your first little ray of northern lights. I'm going to add a little bit more underneath here. This time I'm, I'm using some red. Okay, I'm going to pull that off, move up a bit, I may put this one this way. Now, your finger's going to get a little color on it, so that's why we have our damp paper towels. So I'm just wiping my finger on the damp paper towel, because if I want to change colors, I don't want to get that all over my next color. So I'm going to move on. This time I'm going to use a bit of green. If your colors start to get a little bit muddy on the paper, where they've blended a lot together, you've always got your second piece. So I'm going to move back to this piece now. The really fun thing about uh, chalk pastels, as you may be discovering, is that it only takes a little bit of color to spread 
onto the paper. So some of my chalk pastels, they're very small pieces, but they still have a lot of color. They're very pigmented. So it only takes a little bit. Okay, so it's totally up to you how many of the northern lights you want to do. You can even have some overlap a bit. I'm going to do just a little right here. When you feel your sky has plenty, there we go, then you're ready to move on to the next step. I'm going to set this aside, wipe my fingers off. The next thing I want to do is get the extra pastel off. You see a little bit of chalk there, so I'm just going to tap my picture up here, and I can just gently wipe that with my wet paper towel, clean up my area. Okay, so I'm ready to move on, and I've got several options here. I want to add some nice trees in the picture. Now remember, things that are in the foreground, they're going to be larger because they're closer to us. So I'm going to get my black colored pencil and start drawing a tree, maybe just a little ways up from the bottom. So I'm going to start right here, draw up, for the trunk of the tree. And because this is in the Arctic, these are more like evergreen style trees. So I'm gonna draw little lines coming off in each direction to represent the evergreen tree. And as it comes out, it's gonna get a little bit wider because they're larger at the base of the tree. I'm gonna do another one of the foreground trees over here on this hill. Remember, this tree is big because it's close to us. Next, I'm gonna do some middle ground trees. So I'm gonna move up a little bit in the hills. So these will be a little bit smaller. And then finally, a few just a little bit farther back, they're even smaller. Got my foreground, middle ground, and now I'm gonna work some more on my background. Now because this is the night sky, we're gonna put a few stars in the sky. Really easy way to do that is to use your white chalk pastel. And I'm just going to gently draw a few small little random dots around. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do with my white, because it is in the Arctic, so you're often gonna see snow there. We're gonna put a little bit of snow on the trees and on the hills. And all you have to do is take your white and just gently go follow the curve of the hill and kind of go over it just a little bit. Now I'm going to put a little bit on the trees. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you can use your finger and just gently smooth out a little bit of the white. If you wanna smooth out some of the white on the hills. You can leave your picture just like this. Um, I do like to tap it and get the extra pastel off. There are other options. Sometimes around Christmas, you might want to do something like this. Add a few little colors with your colored pencil and make it kind of like a Christmas tree. I also did this little deer. We have deer uh, in the area where I live, and I thought it might be fun to add a little deer in the snow looking up at the lights. If you'd like to try that, it's pretty easy to do. It's just made out of little shapes. I'm going to draw an oval shape, not too big. You can always make it bigger. Fill it in all the way, make it nice and dark. Then you're gonna make a second oval shape going upward. And then a third oval shape, this is gonna be its head. And then I'm just gonna connect those really well. Now you'll have a little bit of an ear, a little bit of a nose, and then you'll have some antlers. Now the last little bit on my deer, I'm going to add a tail and some legs. The first leg's going to come down, bend just a bit backwards, just a little. Here's the second. So it's almost going to look like it's standing in the snow. And then this is the front leg. 
squint a little bit. And the fourth leg. And sometimes I'll put like a little shadow. It's so amazing that these wonderful colors appear in the night sky and we can create them with our chalk pastels. I really hope you enjoyed creating your beautiful little landscape pictures with the Northern Lights today. Remember to always believe in yourself, share your love of art with others, and make the world a more beautiful place. Until next time, this is Miss Maylie in the Art Room.